Hello everyone, this is just a quick introduction to EXIF tool. I will be editing six different types of media types. This video is being created because when I first started messing with this program, I had a hard time finding documentation. The project itself is very well documented, but not really geared towards beginners or people first starting. With that being said, I hope I help with this video. Thanks. Alright, we are going to be referring to my github page which I will link in the description for the duration of this video to get these codes that I'll be using or not codes the commands that I'll be using so as a quick example we are going to look at how I have all these columns lined up these are just the random dates and that I could get from the different types of uh, metadata for testing purposes you can edit them here under user defined I'm clicking user to find clicking edit and you can kind of create them here and you can kind of see just by looking at this how I made them and then you can go back and kind of use this as an example to make your own so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch back to my github page we are going to copy this entire field and we're going to set the metadata in these pictures to point that they were taken at the White House in Washington, D.C. Or that they are the White House in Washington, D.C. Whichever use case you might use. So we're going to select them all. Control-V. Hit Enter. And you'll see that now that we have them all selected, we scroll down. They have latitude, longitude, and altitude. If you go all the way over here on my custom columns you'll see that composite GPS position was automatically generated from the longitude and that latitude. So now let's go back through and let's start adding in dates to these, dates and times. We're going to select them all again. We're going to get rid of this command. We're going to go back to my GitHub page and we're going to scroll down. And you'll see right here I have a few different ones. So Let's just do this quick time create date as an example. I'm going to paste this into here. Put the dash in there. Now we're going to enter. And now when we scroll over, you're going to see that there is now a quick time create date for these two video files, MOV and MP4. Not all tags are compatible with all types of uh, files. That's why I have the six different here as an example. So let's mix this one up a little bit. Let's remove QuickTime. Select them all. Set enter. You see the create date is now what we have down here. Another neat little thing you could do is hit edit predefined. You can actually save this just as a quick little shortcut. So add new. And now we have create date. So let's switch back to my GitHub page again. Let's get the modified date one. Copy. Switch back to exit tool. Hit paste. Let's just get rid of EXIF. So let's just put the dash here. We still have them all selected up here. So modify date. Enter. And now they all have a modified date. And you could do this with all of these different types of uh, fields. Now something else that I like to do is kind of pick in one date that seems to work for all of them, right? And we can check that by just putting it in here. And then the log, now see the log printed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the create dates for all of them. So what I like to do is, I like to set the create date. Let's just change this so you can see that it works. Just change them to 2020. And 
this is not the best way to do this I know but this is just the way I like to do it is I have a quick predefined command for each file type set up and then how this works is it sets this tag QuickTime create date to the create date it sets the QuickTime modify date to create date etc etc so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and I'll add this to the github page and we are going to control V hit enter and you see why I get some errors because not all those are compatible with all types but you see just like that it added that tag to all of them that it allowed it to add them to. Now, what else we can do is, let's go ahead, now that we're done, we'll go ahead and get rid of all these tags. And now they're all gone. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know if I did well or didn't do so well or whatever you feel like telling me in the comments below. Have a good day.